wild fish right in too big in my neighborhood. We cook our meat before we eat it. We're funny that way. Levi seemed to like it though. Yeah. Another thing that always amazes me is that the less they have to do to prepare your food, the more they charge you for it. You have a very common sense way of looking at things. I was raised to be very practical. Good Midwestern values, you know? Yeah, yeah, I know. I'm from Wisconsin. City boy or country boy? Small town. And yet you like raw fish. Well, my dad fed me sardines when I was a kid, so I guess sushi's a natural extension. How did you end up with the FBI? Well, I was always fascinated by it, but I guess I became a little more interested when I realized that I wasn't going to make a living playing professional hockey. Saddest day of my life. And that was when? I was 10. I worked in my favor, though. In my high school graduation photo, I was the only guy who still had all of his teeth. <laughs> How about you? Yeah, I have all my own teeth. <laughs> I guess you didn't play hockey. Actually, I did. But mostly figure skating. But that was a long time ago. Yeah, I saw a picture of you in your apartment. You were some kind of champion. It was the one place that could go to shut out the rest of the world. You still skate? I made a vow to myself a long time ago that I would never put on a pair of skates again. Well, what? Judy Clark was my best friend, my only friend. We'd finish one, two in the state finals. I was one, she was two. And the day of the Midwest Championships was the biggest day of my life. The winner would go to the Nationals. She's lost her place. She started over. She doesn't know the music is over. I was supposed to win. Obviously, I didn't. But Judy did. She was going to the Nationals. Well, it seems a bit much to give up something you love. That's not why I quit. Everybody in the bus, let's go. Write down everything you do. Then, when you show it to me, it'll be like I was there. Let me stay a little longer. I'm practicing a new job. Something bad has happened. What? It's Judy. There's been an accident. The bus carrying the skaters to the Nationals. Sue, Judy died in the accident. No. I'm so sorry. Maybe it was a mistake. No. Judy's all right. 
She's in heaven. But they want her here with me. We don't know why some things happen the way they do, but God must have some big plans for you, baby. I haven't skated since. But I miss her every day. I was supposed to win. But I lost my place and had to start over. You think it's your fault? I think we should go back now. <laughs> 